Hello, welcome to the recording session for going over the quiz on limits that we had earlier this week. So I'm just going to go through this one by one and of course display the answers. So we'll start with number one. So number one I'll give you one sec here. Here we go. Is asking you a true or false question. Does the limit as x approaching zero of one over x equal infinity? The answer for this one is false. And here's the reason why. If you graph one over x, it would look like this. You have one branch like this another branch like that. And of course the asymptote will be right here. The left hand limit does not equal the right hand limit. Because clear from the left side is going towards negative infinity, the right side is going towards positive infinity. So actually the limit in this case will be DNE. So it would not be infinity. For number two, the best way to go about this is just to plug in zero straight up. So eight cosine zero minus three times ten to the zero power. Cosine of zero is one, you guys should know that. And eight times one is eight. Ten to the zero is also one. Three times one is three. So eight minus three equals 5. Now for this one, some of you said the answer was 7, but that's true if the limit is going towards 0. Then you'd have that, because that's that one rule we talked about, sine kx over x equals k, when the limit is x approaching 0, but our limit is not approaching 0 or x is not approaching zero. Uh, instead, x is approaching infinity. So in this case, the answer is just going to be zero. Uh, if you think about it, when x gets really large, sine seven x oscillates between negative one and one. But of course, this gets large, and any number between negative 1 and 1 over a large number is going to get close to close to 0. So that's why it's 0 for that one. Okay, number 2. So let me go with a slightly lighter pen. Let's try a custom pen here. Eh, that's okay. We'll make this work. Okay, so here's how you work out number two. It's a limit as x approaches four for x minus four over four minus x times four plus x. Now, four minus x is the same exact thing it's saying negative x minus 4. And of course, you still got your 4 plus x. So I simply factor out a negative from 4 minus x. Gone, gone. So now I got the limit as x approaches 4 of 1 over negative 1 times 4 plus x. Now I can plug in 4. So you get negative one eighth, that one. Okay, number three, you had to show work. You couldn't just look at the degrees of lean terms and just say, oh, that's a limit. Because again, we're looking at n behavior. So you could 
again, just say that the degrees are the same for the top and bottom of the leading terms and shake the ratio link coefficients. But in order to show work, here's what you got to do. You got to multiply each term by 1 over x4. So that's what's expected. Multiply that by 1 over x4. Multiply that by 1 over x4. And multiply that by 1 over x4. On the bottom, do likewise. So this is fair treatment, because you multiply every term by that. So then, those go away. Those go away. There comes x on the bottom here. There comes x squared. So now we got ourselves the following. I'm going to have to make a little bit of room here. So you have 13 minus 2 over x plus 7 over x4 over 5 minus 4 over x squared. Now plug in infinity. So we have 13 over 5. So when we plug in x equals infinity, because that goes towards 0, that goes towards 0, and that goes towards 0. And you're just stuck with that. So that's the number of 3's then. Okay, for number 4, a lot of you had a hard time with this one. Um, let me change the color, just get a little more contrast. We'll go green. So, what I would do is multiply both top and bottom by the conjugate. So root x plus root 3 and root x plus root 3. So now you have this. The limit as x approaches 3. And don't foil. Don't foil the top. That would not be good. Because the whole point is to get things to cancel. So I'll put this in red. Okay, that's not red. Uh, come on, let's work. There we go. Don't foil. I'm actually pointing towards this right here. Because the whole point is to get things to cross out. But do foil the bottom, which will just be x minus 3. Because root x times root x is x. Root 3 times root 3 is 3, but as a negative, the uh, outside and inside terms will cancel each other out. See, now those go away. So now we're in business. The limit as x approaches 3 of root x plus root 3 do straight up substitution. Of course, root 3 plus root 3 is 2 root 3. Okay, number 5. This is a complex fraction. What you want to do is find the LCD. So you multiply this by 6 and 6. Multiply that by 6 plus x and that by 6 plus x. So now we get the limit as x approaches 0 of 6 minus 6 minus x over 6 times 6 plus x. And of course the bottom is still this. Hopefully you can see what I did here. Again, the LCD is 6 times 6 plus x. I multiply that first fraction by um, 6 and 6. And the second fraction, 1 over 6, by 6 plus x, 6 plus x. But you have 6 minus this right here. 
that's why I distribute the minus of both 6 and this x. The 6's will cancel. So now I get this. And what do you notice about the bottom? I could probably factor on x. So let's actually factor on x. So that's going to be huge. And let's also make that a fraction too. But going over 1. So now you can flip over that fraction. So I got the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x. 6, 6 plus x times 1 over x and see how those just go away? So now I have this. The limit as x approaches 0 of negative 1 over 6, 6 plus x, and 3x to the 6, plus 2. When you plug 0 in, you get negative 1 over 6 times 6 times 2, which would be negative 1 over 72. Okay, lastly, I'll go back to black here. Here we're asked to find the limit of this rational function that involves a trig function. So you're going to have to do some separation. And also helps to do a little factoring as well. So the limit is x approaches 0 of 3x sine 4x all over plot the x squared. And I can break this up as a product because we're going to have to do some of that sine 4x. So I'm going to break it like this. 3x x 9x minus 5 times the limit is x to 0 of sine 4x over x. So notice what I did here. I broke apart the x squared into here and here. And of course 3x is sine 4x. I broke those apart as well. So I know this is just going to be 4. That's easy. These go away. So now I can plug in the 0 straight up. So it's 3 over 9 times 0 minus 5, which would be negative 3 fifths times 4, which is negative 12 fifths. So that concludes the video for review of quiz on limits. So now to ask that you do is to answer the questions that come after the video. Um, it'll go straight to my Google Docs so I can see your responses. Then I ask that you will um, turn in your quiz corrections, uh, preferably on the day you take the makeup quiz, and then of course do the makeup quiz. And I will wipe away your old grade and give you the new grade. Uh, and you have till 4 o'clock Friday of next week, which is October 7th, to get this done. Okay, well it's getting late, and I think you could probably tell I'm a night owl by the time on the right over here, so I need to get going to bed.